Why do so many hardware startups fail? Hey, Joanna. So a lot of hardware companies fail for some very, very controllable reasons. I'll give you a couple that I usually reference and maybe feel free to ask me some, for some follow-up. So the first is, most founders are building hardware companies for their very first time. So they go all in on a super complicated product or service offering with hardware attached and they are way over their heads because they've never built a physical business before. So none of the co-founders, none of the advisors, investors, anyone has experience in the physical world and that is what will dominate the early years of your business and the realities of being a hardware business. The next part is being in a problem or a vertical that you're not passionate about. So I see people that are inspired to save the world and they want to start companies. Hardware companies are more challenging than most. And so if you're not actually super, super passionate about solving that problem, let's say one of your family members or you have suffered from something and you want to fix it, if you're just doing it kind of like the service economy, I want to deliver my beer a little faster, I want someone to get my clothes or fill up my gas tank while I'm sleeping, that's not going to get you through the low times of building a hardware company. The third part is actually cash flow timing. So please use our cash flow tool. It's free. It's on our website, brink.io slash cash. We have over 300 hardware founders that are using this, uh, eight different uh, VCs and, uh, or I think 12 different VCs and other IoT and hardware accelerators that are using this. It's really important that you plan your cash flows in a hardware business. There are lots of hidden costs, so please go ahead and use that tool because I don't want you to fall in, that, uh, in those gaps that we found already. Uh, there are lots more. I'd be happy to answer any follow-up questions. Thank you so much for the question, and as always, keep living in beta. See ya.